I mean, that's the goal for everybody. You know, at the end of the season, you want to punch your ticket, get down there. And, you know, the, the big thing is just getting, you got to get there. And then once you're there, you can, we always say you, you can dance. We, we're at the dance. So the hard, hard part is just, you know, you punch that ticket, that the pressure is kind of off. Even though it sounds weird, the pressure is kind of off now. That qualifying tournament sometimes is a little stressful, you know, because it depends on how many spots you got. And, um, you know, everybody's fighting for that spot. And then once you get the spot, now it's, you're free. We get to just let it fly and, uh, you know, it's, Crazy, but you know, last ride out there. You know, last every match could be your last at this point, and just gotta let it all out there. But um, now that the tickets punched. You know, I feel like a weight's been lifted off, and um, just ready to go down there and show everybody at Pittsburgh what I've been training for all year. Having four seniors um, out there, I mean, it's gonna be great to finish finish on top. Um, however, I do finish, whether it's on the podium, at the top of the podium, at the bottom, but. Whatever it may be, having those guys by my side, knowing that it's all our last chance out there, um, it's going to be that much more special and make it that much more fun when it's all said and done. You know, having, having that routine, like I said, praying, thanking God whether I win or lose, um, asking him to keep me safe, healthy. So um, having that as well and then enjoying the sport overall, again, whether it's the preparation or whether it's performing, um, having enjoyment overall, I think, is the major key from the previous years to this year. This is my ideal situation. I mean, I've been with these guys for now four years. I was actually their, you know, their senior. <laughs> um, and now I'm able to do this with them um, for the first time. And, you know, it's a great experience. You, you'd want to spend these, these types of experiences with your friends or the people that you spend every day with. So having three other guys that I'm very close with to go with me is, is just, it's awesome. So I've been doing this for like 14 years. Uh, my life has literally revolved around the sport. Um, so I'm, I'm reaching the end and it's kind of, you have to sit down and think because it doesn't really hit you ever until it's over. And so right now I'm trying just to really enjoy what I love most about this sport um, because this is it for me. My, I mean, it's my last time my parents are going to come and see me. It's my last time my brother's going to be there cheering the side. Like, like this, is, this is it. So my objective really is just to enjoy these last moments as much as I possibly can because I know like, at, at the end of the day this is, this is it for me. So. It's a big deal. My high school coach even texted me saying like first guy in history of my high school program to make it to NCAA D1 and he's going to be there so I'm really looking forward to it. It's a good way to end out. It's a blast. I was telling you earlier like John, he and I shaved our heads. Our coach says he has a little thing saying for the national tournament it's a clean slate so everyone's records from previous years it doesn't matter. So clean slate, shave it all off and just go out there. When we look at our program, we always look at continuous improvement. And, you know, last year we took three to the NCAA tournament, and this year we took four. And, you know, it's exciting. So each year continue to get better with this program and, uh, you know, taking these four seniors and, you know, John for the second time, CJ for the third, and Christian Labrie and Ian Butterbrot, you know, going for the first time. It's just, it's exciting for the program. It's exciting for the alums. And, you know, it's something special. The hurdle is getting there, right? The challenge going through our EIWA conference, it's uh, one of the tougher conferences out there. So, you know, managing the bracket there and getting through it. And now, now just letting loose. Everyone's zero and zero all over again, and it's a clean slate. And now they can just go have fun, go open up. And, you know, we have four guys that are ready, they're prepared, and I'm excited to see what they can do in Pittsburgh.